Previously on The Potentialists. Because of his excessive weight and the fact that we have tried so many different things to get him to lose weight. I had to do a pulmonary function test. I had to see if my lungs were fully developed enough for me to go under anesthesia. Now big breath in, all the way in. Fast, fast, all the way in. Excellent. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. Today's mild surgery is the day of the surgery. I'm excited. Miles, are you excited? Mom doesn't want to talk to us. That's all right. The day of the surgery, I was really more excited than anything because I knew how much his life was going to change after. He's always had great energy and a great personality and a lot of people always knew who he was. He was very popular. It's just that he really wasn't enjoying his younger years because of his weight. He wasn't able to do a lot of sports. He wasn't able to really go out and date girls. But for this 17 year old, everything was about to change. Alexa had prepared a lot ahead of time for the process, so I basically knew what was going to happen. So I wasn't really too concerned at that time. The day of the surgery, I was pretty nervous like any mother would be. Whenever you put anybody under, it's dangerous to put somebody under general anesthesia. Since I was so big and like my eyes were chinky, everybody tends to call me Panda. As a gift, I actually got that, uh, I believe in Universal, it was a Panda pillow pet. I wasn't really scared because I've had all other surgeries before. I wasn't too nervous because I was really excited. I ended up seeing a couple of people who had the procedure done before and I've seen the like amazing results from it. So I actually was just excited to, to be able to get the surgery done and just to be able to walk in somewhere and you're not the one that's the biggest size. after the results afterwards. I've had many close friends that have had gastric bypass surgery. Everybody loses the weight after a major surgery like this, but it's all the health hazards afterwards, and this one seemed to have the least amount of hazard in it. Okay, we're gonna get you something for pain. I just need to take your blood pressure. After the surgery, obviously I was happy to see him. Uh, he did go through a lot of pain in the hospital when he woke up and that was kind of scary. His dad had to walk him around the hospital and, and it was very teeny tiny steps and there was a lot of pain involved with it afterwards. I really wasn't scared the fact that Miles was having the surgery. He had already gone under twice before in other previous surgeries. But what did have me concerned is the afterwards because it's so dangerous right afterwards to make sure that they don't need anything that's gonna jeopardize the stitching or the, the healing process process of the surgery because it is a major surgery. The first three weeks after the surgery was actually really stressful and annoying actually because you just follow a strict diet. Anyone that does a surgery should get some psychological help because their mind has not been conditioned in order to know the difference between a fat mindset and a thin mindset. Within the two months after his surgery, psychologically, it was really trying on him to see people eating and his brain was registering that he wanted to eat but that he couldn't eat. He, he knew the danger in it. 17 years old, you want to eat a burger and you can't eat a burger because if you do you can actually die so just that alone being able to support him through the process I actually had to coach him several times because he was going through a real bad time because of that that's the most difficult part of the entire surgery eventually when he got over that and the weight was just shedding off of him his self-confidence you could just see it going up right away you know he was more active and more social and the video game stopped all of a sudden that was fantastic because I thought that would never stop today is actually completely different. Um, on a daily basis, I actually end up going to the gym and my social life has completely changed. And it's, it's sad to say that when you're that big, people actually treat you a lot differently than when you do when you're either normal size or muscular or just skinny. He's always in the gym. He's always doing some sort of exercise. I'm always here. Like later on today, I even got some friends to come with me, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually train her. I even help my friends, and I get my friends to get in better shape as well. He's going out, having fun, meeting new people. Even though he was popular then, not only is he popular now, he's actually sexy. <laughs> he feels great about himself and his body right now. I was actually able to jump a fence now, as opposed to before.
I do recommend the surgery. You do actually have to change yourself. You have to change the way you eat and the fact that you actually have to go out and do exercise. Nerve wracking wise, there's actually no reason to be nervous. Just be excited and be willing to actually change your life to be able to better yourself. Hey, yo, how you doing? Check this out. It's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out. If you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowl World. Feel me?